Hey guys, today I am visiting Tony Neal at Wheelbarrow Farm. And this video is part of a shorter, long form video I did at fromthefield.farm. But this is the electric tractor that they're using here. And this is an amazing technology that I can't believe there isn't more of. Tony in this video will kind of show the difference in noise and, well, we can't smell on the video, but the emissions that come off these diesel tractors are brutal. I couldn't personally imagine sitting on one of these for six hours a day, but this is probably what most farmers do. And these electric tractors, not only are they quiet, they have more torque and you're not breathing in any fumes. I'm a huge fan of electric vehicles. I drive an electric car myself and I can't believe there aren't more of this. But check this out. This is a company uh, out of California that makes this tractor and Tony will talk more about it. Before I hop off this one, I'll, I can turn it on and then pull it up to the RPM that uh, I would work, use it to work just for the sound. Okay. Difference. Totally. That's quite loud, right? Eh? Well, I mean, we to just have to use headphones. Yeah. Uh, and even that, some old time farmers have tinnitus from decades of even using headphones. Oh, absolutely, yeah. So this is in idle right now. <laughs> uh, that's ready to go with what the Kubota just was. Yeah, that's so this is ready to work uh, and you get uh, pretty much instant torque with electric motors. Uh, yeah, exactly. How long can you run it for? You can run it for, uh, it really depends. I'll just show, well, I can show you it moving first and then I'll yep. turn it off and we sure. can talk about it. So, that's the sound just of the bearings. Uh, and that's the only sound you really get Amazing. with it. Occasionally, if it heats up, uh, a fan comes on and so there's a small fan that you hear but uh, that's basically the sound when you're working in the field that's so nice yeah. the user experience is amazing I would how, say. how long does it run for okay runtime is uh, it really depends on what you're doing if you're using a PTO and uh, asking quite a bit of it it would be about four or five hours when I have the wagon on I can go I don't know eight hours Wow that's so pretty good for me that's all we need even when I was just using the diesel a long day on the tractor is six hours because we're you know we're a small farm still using a lot of hand tools wheelbarrows uh, etc so the only reason you have a Kubota is for the front end loader I guess eh? front end loader and uh, the other thing is that this is not uh, a mature technology yeah so I'm not putting all my eggs in one basket yet so right. uh, we're easing this into uh, the tractor work starting off with uh, last fall I pretty much just had the wagon on it and then this year we're going to be, uh, you know, using it more in the field, doing uh, lighter stuff first and then seeing how it performs, working our way up. So I'm not in a rush to uh, max it out and see how far I can push it and whether yeah. it breaks or not. Yeah. yeah. Well, I can open up the hood and see inside. So there's really not much here. Um, this is a fan. You have uh, the battery bank right here. How big is the battery? Uh, well, it takes up this whole compartment and then under the seat as well. So do you know how many kilowatt hours it is? Uh, or kilowatt? I would know that inside oh, by okay. looking at it. But yeah. I, for me, it's like it just uses six to eight hours and um, it's 48 volt. Um, <clears throat> So uh, similar to electric cars, there's just very few components uh, in the system. There's no radiator, there's no oil, there's no... Exactly. Uh, when it heats up, it heats up to say 50 degrees. The inside of an internal combustion engine would be 2,500 degrees. So, uh, and 200 moving parts in a internal combustion with uh, one moving part. In exactly, the so, yeah. Um, yeah, this is a controller. There's a battery management system, a fan, 
battery bank and uh, the motor and uh, and that's it. Wow. How did you get, how did you get into this? Like how did you hear about this? I was uh, I spent a day on the on the Kubota and uh, I mean I love I like tractors. Yeah. I started off I think I had some sort of uh, anti tractor bias. I was indoctrinated by hippies when yes, I when I started <laughs> and. Uh, I, as we expanded past three or four acres of cultivation, it just uh, a two wheel tractor didn't make sense. Even just moving things here and there, totally. Uh, a tractor is so useful. So, uh, but no, it was a, a long day on the Kubota. And as much as I like tractors, I, there are th things about internal combustion I don't like. One is the sound, and uh, two is like just huffing the, the smell. huffing the smell for yeah. six hours. It's a class one carcinogen, so eventually it adds up like a tractor's life is rated in hours so I can watch you know 600 hours huff and smoke 700 so at some point in time that's gonna come back and get you uh, so I had spent a day on the, on the Kubota and uh, actually that day at lunch I was just uh, scrolling through YouTube and watching uh, actually Ray Kurzweil you yep. might know him yeah, interesting absolutely. guy I don't like everything he says but yes. uh, his predictions uh, about AI what's going to be possible yeah. um, I was like okay if we're, if we're gonna have you know all this crazy things in 15 20 years surely I can have uh, electric tractor there's electric vehicles that it, we know you know are just about to replace internal combustion cars so why not it's basically the same sort of thing as an electric vehicle uh, but it has uh, a few features that make it almost easier uh, one is you never go far from home so the range is not an issue yeah you don't want to be charging all the time, so six hours is a good enough range. But uh, and two, uh, with cars, they're worried about battery weight. Uh, weight is good with a tractor because that's traction. So uh, I had it in my mind that yeah, it was, okay, someone's got to be working on this. I did some Google searching, and then that night I was talking to Steve at Selectrack, and uh, we kind of went from there. I went down to meet him. Uh, he's in California, and uh, then I actually helped. Uh, helped him and Norm uh, assemble one just like this. Uh, I stayed there for a week, got to learn about some of the components, familiarized myself with uh, uh, electric motors and controllers and, and that sort of thing. And then we shipped it up uh, last August. So I had it by August, most of the field work is actually done, yeah. but it's harvest time. So we had it every day in the field, back and forth from the fields to the uh, cold storage. Yeah. Um, and the user experience, is amazing and you know I, I have a environmental commitment mm -hmm. so not burning the diesel is is huge but uh, the user experience is also huge because I'm a worker here so uh, not having to wear headphones it's much more pleasant you can talk to people rather than throttle down and sometimes you have to turn off the diesel if you want to talk uh, but the fumes are huge so after a six or seven days sorry six or seven hours on a internal combustion I have a scratchy throat my, and my stomach is wheezy. Uh, yeah. So and I don't know if that's just me or if that's just naturally what happens when you huff that much yeah. exhaust. So that's how it came together and uh, so far so good. Wow. Yeah. Really cool. So you were saying you've got, so this is this is essentially powered by the sun too because yep. this you've got a 10 kilowatt solar system here, Yep. right? And are you looking at implementing other types of electric technology into your farm? Is there anything else that is kind of getting you excited right now? Uh, I think uh, in the future, I don't know, uh, this is not going to happen in the next couple of years. I would eventually like to just go off the grid yeah. um, and produce uh, all my own energy for everything. Um, I think farmers are pretty independent and if you can produce something uh, and it's cheaper to produce it, why not? Mm -hmm. So the what we're waiting for is uh better batteries yeah uh, probably the next generation not lithium mm -hmm. i don't know if i'd put a big lithium battery in my house mm -hmm. but uh, <clears throat> when stall solid state batteries come out um and i don't i can't say five ten fifteen years i'm not sure but uh, i'd be willing to put one of those in my house and uh, produce 100 percent of the energy wow. uh, yeah yeah all right guys if you like that and you want to learn more about that electric tractor company i will leave a link in the show notes and i'll also leave links to wheelbarrow farms social media and website all right guys see you in the next video yeah.